Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 87. I'm hoping to put together quite a jam-packed episode for you today. I'm going to be heading back to God Wars. In the last episode, I did a bit of Sara God Wars for the first time in a while. So I'd like to do that again this episode and get some more KC racked up there. Also going to be heading back to Slayer to try and get an Aviancy task to see if I can get the Armadillo Helm. Outside of uh, bossing and stuff, I think I'm going to go for 99 Thieving this episode. That would be pretty cool. Um, it's a pretty quick skill. I've been doing some Pyramid Plunder and enjoying it. Um, and outside of that, I'll probably get a few total levels here and there. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy the episode. Racked up about another 70 kills at Sarah God Wars, up to 272 KC overall. Uh, no drops to speak of, but did get an elite clue. What can we get? Nothing. And another elite clue coming in. What can we get? Ooh, royal gown top. I actually think that is a duplicate, but yeah, cool to see. Another elite, what can we get? Nothing. This is going to be 2000 KC at Zora overall, which is a pretty nice milestone. I've just been doing this for scales every so often. I have actually been considering breaking down the extra uniques I've got in the bank. I'll show you how many I've got. It's quite a lot. It's uh, three extra serpentine visages and six extra magic fangs so i guess i'd want to keep one of those for a toxic staff of the dead potentially and um, yeah that's nearly like another 200k scales but none of these were gained on the collection log i think actually one of each might have been um so it's kind of nice to have these in the bank just for um i don't know collection purposes and i'm not really struggling for scales i still got like 76k or nearly 80k now um, so I, I would kind of like to hold on to these, but if I dismantled them, I'd never have to go back to Zora again. And yeah, doing this every so often, there's a chance I might get a mutagen, which is kind of cool. I, I wouldn't mind getting like the the magma one would be my, my favorite one, but if I got the tanzanite one, that would be cool as well. It's a rare chance. I would never grind for it specifically to try and get the item. But yeah, passively, that's kind of a reason why I'm not dismantling these. It gives me a reason to go back to Zora. 97 thieving coming in i'm thinking that i might switch over to rd knights or at least do a mixture of rd knights and pyramid plunder the xp rates are pretty similar between the two and i can probably use the gp from rd knights more than a fourth scepter from here so yeah I'm gonna try and mix it up i think for the last two levels and that is 98 thieving so just one left to go now i think coming to rd knights was the right call uh, it's pretty relaxing and it's pretty much the same rate as uh, pyramid plunder to be honest and this is it, it's going to be 99 thieving, assuming I can crack this wall safe. There we go, very nice. Very pleased to be hitting that level. That leaves me with five left to go until max. Um, all pretty slow skills to be honest, apart from smithing. That'll still be pretty quick, even though I have to buy the gold ore from Blast Venice. Not too sure what my next 99 will be, possibly fishing. Haven't really thought about it too much. Um, but yeah, let's go and buy the cape and um, yeah, do the obligatory skill cape emote. Perfect. Quite like this one, looks pretty cool. Let's have a look at the emote. Awesome, 2248 total level now. Picked up an elite clue from Sarachnus of all places, what can we get? whole lot of nothing. The costume room update has just gone live so I'm going to head over to my house and stick a bunch of stuff in the costume room and um, save myself about 100 bank spaces which would be really nice and it'll be cool just to have a look and see um, how much of the clue scroll gear I have managed to obtain. I'm going to keep the pages in my bank because yeah I'm not going to be struggling for bank space anymore and I'm still holding out on them giving the extra pages some sort of use. This is such a good update. I'm really, really happy they've decided to implement this. I thought I'd go through the rewards quickly just to show off what I've got. Um, yeah, I got about a third of the beginner rewards. Not done too many beginner clues. Easies, I'm about halfway there. I've done quite a lot of easy clues because I went quite dry on the flared trousers. Um, but I just flick through what I've got. A few completed sets, which is nice. And the medium clues. Again, I've got about half of the unique items. I've not done as many easy clues. I think maybe about 300 because I got my Ranger Boots reasonably early, which was nice. Hard clues, 
28 out of 78. This is obviously where it becomes more difficult to complete the sets because you've got the third age armors, which are um, very, very rare. Um, but yeah, got a few full sets here, I think. Nothing too out of the ordinary. I've kept a couple of things in the bank that I'm going to need, like the Sara braces and Zami boots, because um, I'm going to be using those for Sara God Wars, but they'll go in here eventually. Elite clues, not too many. I've got some nice ones though. I've got like the Ranger's tunic, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, nothing particularly special in here. And then master clues, only four unique rewards. I thought I had more than that. That's actually quite disappointing. Um, but yeah, looking forward to... Ah, okay, so this isn't... Right, I've misunderstood it. It's not unique rewards. It's um, like complete sets. So I've had four complete sets that makes sense um, but yeah nice to free up some bank space and who knows maybe one day we'll look to try and fill out some more of these spaces well I make that 300 kills at Sara God Wars not too much to say it's going very well I'm enjoying it it's a very chilled out boss compared to some of the other God Wars uh, bosses uh, no significant drops yet I've just had the two Sara Domains lights that's it um, but yeah hopefully get something soon and that is a God Sword Shard from the Mage Minion Picked up an elite clue from that Sara trip, can we get anything good? No. And another shard at Sara God Wars, this time off the boss. Alright, another elite clue from Sara, what can we get? Got a nice runecrafting milestone coming in here, that is level 92, halfway to 99. The last 7 levels I think will take 170 hours, if I did that all at blood runecrafting, so uh, yeah, see you next year. I've managed to pick up an Aviancy task, so it's time to head back to Armadil God Wars. Um, I've only caught Chins for the first trip, I'm just going to be doing it a trip at a time. Um, let's see if we can get the helm. Well, it's nice to see a drop. Unfortunately, it's not the helm, it's another chain skirt. That's uh, my second one. Oh, I didn't even realise I just got a unique drop from Zolcano. It's the uh, Zolcano shard. I don't really know why I'm here, just thought I'd get some smithing supplies and see what it's like. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And that is 92 mining, which brings me to 2250 total overall. Also puts me at base 92 across the board, which is pretty cool. And I've unlocked Amethyst, which I may use at some point for a bit of AFK training. It is quite slow XP, I think like 20k an hour. But yeah, the upside of that is it is very, very AFK. And I guess if I ever did get lucky and get a Twisted Bow, it would be nice to have a decent stack of Amethyst arrows. So yeah, we'll see. This is getting a bit ridiculous. That is my third armor chain skirt overall on the account now. Five chest plates to go with those, one being from a minion rather than the main boss overall. And still haven't had a helm coming up to 1100 KC. When's it gonna end? And this is gonna be the last kill of the task, taking me up to 1085 Kriara kills overall. I'm nearing three times the drop rate for the armadillo helmet. And um, yeah, nothing, nothing more to be done other than try and get another task and come back here fairly soon with some more black chins. Got an elite clue coming in, what can we get? Giant boot. I don't know how rare that is, but I've definitely not had that before. That looks pretty stupid. <laughs> So I actually managed to pick up another Aviancy task quite quickly. I wasn't expecting to squeeze one into this episode. I've caught the chins I need, so going to head back. That'll be two trips, basically, for another 40 or 50 kills. Um, yeah, just praying that I might get lucky and get the helm. That would be a really good way to round off the uh, episode. Well, there is a drop. It is a God Sword Shard off the boss. Working our way up to a full blade this trip. That is Shard 2, in addition to having Shard 1 now. Two clues from that armor trip. I don't normally record my hard clues, but uh, seeing as I got them together, I will this time. So yeah, bonus hard clue for nothing. And a master clue to try. Can do the first step at least. Master clue done, what can we get? Ooh, it's a mimic, very nice. Mimic down, do we get anything nice? Not particularly, 500k, not too bad. And another shard this time off the minion, shard two. And that's going to be the last kill of the task, finishing up on 1130 KC overall, getting pretty close to three times the drop rate for the helm. And um, yeah, kind of wish this was over now.
And I'm going to call it an episode there, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Been good to rack up some more Kriara KC, though, unfortunately, still don't have the helmet. Thought I'd put together all of my uh, Armadillo loot into an inventory here, just so you can see what I'm up to. It's uh, five chest plates, three chain skirts, and four armor hilts, which I've uh, turned into the god swords. So, yeah, getting a bit unlucky there, but hopefully, in the next episode, we'll be able to get another task or two. And um, who knows, might be able to finish up there. Also nice to be getting 99 Thieving this episode. That was a good one to knock out. Um, yeah, only really slow skills left to 99 now. Other than smithing, which, yeah, it's probably the quickest one I've got left. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest videos in the series, feel free to subscribe as well. And until next time, take care.